Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to add pictures to the scores that you are creating in MuseScore. Now, in order to do this, we are going to use the import image function in MuseScore. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have MuseScore open. And in order to add, import an image or add a picture to your score, you're going to need a frame, either a horizontal frame or a vertical frame in the music. Now, most scores have a frame already on the music when you start. So right here, when I click inside this box, you see how the lines, the, the dotted lines turn blue? That's the frame. So once that's highlighted, I can right click in that frame and then uh, it's a vertical frame and I can look for an option for add and then I'm going to add an image. So right there is the option. So I'm going to click that and it is going to uh, bring up, you know, uh, the folders on my computer and I'm going to look for an image. Uh, so let me find one now. So I've located a picture that I like to add to this score. I'm going to click on it and then click on open. And so now the image has been added to the score. So you can see the image is pretty large. Um, so I can click on the image and then move it. And you can see it's showing the uh, top of my title again. And um, so I can move this around. Now in order to resize this, I think what you would have to do, there we go. So there's a little handle. So if your image is very large like mine was, so you have to drag it the whole way to this side. And then you see there's a little handle on the right hand side. I click that and then I can uh, drag it to the left and then it makes the image smaller. So I'm making the image smaller and now I've got uh, an image that makes more sense. And you'll see that the score automatically adjusts to whatever size your image is. And um, so that's the main way that you can add an image and then move it around on the score. In order to delete an image, you would just select it and then click delete on your keyboard. Now let's say you did not have a frame to start with. Let me show you how to find the frames. So what you're going to do is you're going to select a measure. You have to select a measure first and then click on add at the top left. And then you're going to go to frames. And then for this one, you could do a, a vertical frame. And so that's the kind of frame we just had. And now I'm going to have the frame there. And it, once the dotted lines turn blue, I can right click and then add the image like we did before. So that's how you can add a frame so that you can add the image. So again, you need the frame in order to, to add the image. Um, let me show you what happens. If you want to delete a frame, you can just uh, click the frame. Once it turns blue, just click delete on your keyboard. Um, if I were to try to add a frame by itself, you'll notice that if I hit click it, it says that I need to select a measure. So you must select a measure. So let's say I selected this one and then let's say I wanted to add a frame. And let's say this time I wanted to do a horizontal frame. So that way I separated the two measures from each other. And then I can click that frame, resize things, right click, and then add the image like we did before. I wanted to point out one thing. You may have noticed this camera icon on the top of the page whenever you are working with your score. And this is actually not to import images, but rather to take pictures of your music and then export it as a picture. So let's say I click on that, it will bring the image capture up. And so I can move this blue box around, highlight what I would like to capture as an image. And then uh, when I am finished with it, I can go ahead, you can right click if you want, and then you can save as different things. So let's say save as print mode, and then that will save it as a ping image or a PNG image on to your computer. So I just want to point that out that if you do find that camera, it's for taking pictures of your score and then um, you know, uh, exporting those uh, to use in other documents like uh, Microsoft Word or to you know put on the internet or something like that. So you now know how to add pictures and resize them in the music that you are creating in MuseScore. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other MuseScore tutorials available. I will put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.